Okay. Hey guys, so basically the RAM upgrade started with a little bit of research and I tried to enter my own uh, laptop's information. Unfortunately, that my particular model was not listed. However, the main model was uh, a separator Helios 16, PH 16-71 and a very variant of this or, or variation of this. And it shows the comparable um, RAM memory. Now this is a 16 gigabyte, but I went down, 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 and it's uh, I found this one. And uh, 64 gig, two times 32 gigs. So I went, uh, activated the chat. I found somebody online. Uh, there was a AI first, and then I requested a, a individual, you know, person. And I gave him my own specific model. I told him that my model is not, and he says, okay, give me a couple of minutes and uh, he'll be right back. And he says, he guarantees that this pack, the 64 gig is compatible with my model because it has the i9 latest CPU. Uh, because I told him that according to the specifications of the uh, manufacturer, the maximum RAM is only 32 gigs, but I'd like to upgrade if possible. And he confirmed it in chat that in fact it is uh, fully compatible. And I was also told that uh, if something is wrong, then I have 45 days to return the memory chips. So based on that, I decided to go and uh, purchase a chip, but uh, before I purchased it from, from uh, crucial I decided to check it out on Amazon okay so after confirming on crucial that uh, the RAM memory chips are compatible I decided to do some research and I found it found the same package on Amazon on sale so obviously it's much cheaper here plus I enjoy free delivery uh, because I have a membership prime membership so yeah uh, I purchased this and uh, you know saved uh, some significant amount of money in the process and I, I purchased this 5600 megahertz 64 gigabyte kit 2 times 32 gigabyte RAM uh, chip kit set okay so the delivery was very very fast and uh, they delivered it the next day for me and here we are ready for installation Using the Jorest 33-piece precision screwdriver set that also includes the T5 special head uh, screwdriver that's necessary for removing the panel, I started the procedure. I'm going to leave a link below the video for everything involved in this procedure, so just check out please the links and uh, you can buy the same kit which costs only $10. And here we have the memory chips ready for installation. First, we have to remove the factory RAM memories, which are attached with this uh, sticky kind of tape. I'm not exactly sure about the purpose of this sticky tape, but uh, it may be related to cooling, perhaps. I don't know. The RAM memory modules only fit in one way, eliminating the chance of improper installation. And here goes the second module, nice and easy. I double check just to be sure that the clamps held the modules correctly. And here comes the moment of truth. And big nothing, nothing happens. The laptop simply refuses to boot. Absolutely nothing. What a massive, massive disappointment. 
Since I'm not exactly the type that gives up so easily, I tried every configuration and had every possible options. First I removed one of the chips, hoping that uh, if the machine can handle 32 gigs, it would run. Guess what? It did not. So then I tried to use one of the original chips, a 16 gig chip, plus one of these chips in case nothing happened. Then I tried to put back the original two 16 gigabyte chips. Guess what? The same, nothing happened. My computer stopped booting, stopped operating. I was totally desperate. So I started to search online for solution and somebody suggested that uh, the system may need several boot in order for the BIOS to recognize the chipset. So I tried that, booting, 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 nothing happened. And finally, in a forum, somebody mentioned it, that you just have to leave it alone so the BIOS can scan and uh, test and uh, basically just uh, warm up the memory chips and install them into the system to be sure they are compatible and they will operate. So I left them alone and uh, for quite a long time actually. And uh, yeah, after about, I don't know, like five minutes or so, my system restarted, rebooted and everything worked like a charm. And here it is, both in the Windows system as well as the test manager confirms the 64 GB RAM. Please be advised that this kind of an upgrade requires the 13th generation i9 13900HX CPU or something even newer and better. For confirmation, I also used uh, third-party software such as CPU-Z to confirm that uh, the 64 gigabytes are in fact recognized by the system. Every single technical detail including manufacturer and uh, bandwidth, serial number, etc. are listed within CPU-Z. The RAM memories can also be confirmed using the command prompt with the following commands. Okay, F2. Let's try to get into the bias. There you go. And here we go. Memory. Memory 1. 32 gigs, total 64, memory 2, 32, but it shows 5200 megahertz instead of 5600, even though the unit is 5600. So, and uh, I have the latest BIOS, at this time it's version 1.16. So for the Predator Helios uh, PH 16-71 right here this is the latest and also I previously up updated the uh, storage from the original 1 terabyte uh, there is the video ad about it you guys can check it out and upgraded in the store for 4 terabytes so the C drive was cloned and placed on this 4 terabyte for C drive and later I upgraded on my own for D drive another 4 terabyte SSD. So it has 8 terabyte storage now and the 64 gigs of RAM. So it did work in fact even though the manufacturer says that uh, it's uh, this model is only compatible with 32 gigs of RAM. But with this uh, CPU it's very important. This is the i9 13900HX 24 core i9 13 generation CPU. Uh, the memory upgrade worked. 
so if you have the i7 the previous generation it may not work probably it will not work however if you have the i9 13900 HX is 24 core then I read that uh, it, I, in fact I saw computers with this CPU and 64 gigs of RAM that's why I questioned whether you know uh, the manufacturer may be in fact wrong because they say that uh, that 32 gigs is the max well it's obviously not uh, so far I haven't I haven't noticed any malfunction ever since it recognized the memory but again uh, at the at the beginning I had that uh, black screen blank screen and nothing worked so here's the advanced settings it's just information okay let's go down again it says it indicates the total memory uh, 64 gigs pretty much and the LCD and the temperature uh, main it doesn't have too much options I don't know why they don't allow too much modifications advanced that's all they allow here so yeah and a display mode auto select but boot not much of an option security is just about uh, password setup I don't see anything that's uh, significant so yeah that's it that's it guys I received a couple of questions if uh, my predator has uh, certain options in the BIOS but I don't see anything so that's all I have advanced security boot and exit well it's a little bit of overkill at this point but uh, since I'm a PC player and uh, I play my games on on uh, my laptop <coughs> I, I the convenience is you can take your games with you anytime anywhere and yeah the steaming platform the steam platform for pc also provides system information where you can check out and confirm all the details uh, so there are many many different options where you can in fact verify uh, the installation or if, if you have any questions regarding your system that uh, this kind of uh, basically platforms and options are all available and uh, they can you know summarize everything you need or if you want to check your system or check uh, details of your cpu or gpu or ram or whatever it is then uh, you can do that using uh, the same system analysis tool as well so in a short summary it was a major pain in the neck to go through this uh, <laughs> ram upgrade because it should have been uh, you know a simple procedure and the manufacturer never tells anybody that you basically need to train your ram and give the system a little bit of time for recognition and operation and that can cause a lot of headache for a lot of people and you may <clears throat> think that your system is incompatible with a memory chip but in fact all it needed is a little bit of time to adjust and recognize uh, the components and restart the system with the new components and the only thing i noticed so far that the 5600 megahertz is not recognized even though i have the latest bios and only indicates 5200 megahertz but this is a minor issue at this point and i'm very very happy with the 64 gig uh, upgrade and a four terab an eight terabyte uh, uh, storage upgrade as well so now my laptop is really a, a very very serious contender in this uh, price range so thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys next time with a new video